Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash tales from retail. But first, let's play r slash drunk or a kid, where I give you a real life scenario and you guess whether it was a drunk or a kid. This one was posted by Jordy Dude. I forgot the name of marinara sauce and asked for marijuana sauce out loud instead in a grocery store filled with people. What do we think? Is this a drunk or a kid? Find out at the end of the video. Now back to r slash tales from retail where guardian angel turtle posted this. Possibly the stupidest conversation I've ever had with a customer. So I work at a half grocery, half general merchandise store and I got possibly the dumbest person in the entire world asking me a question this week. It's Black Friday, I'm busy as hell and this woman stops me. Here's how our conversation went. Idiot. Where's your material? Me. Our material? What, what do you mean? Idiot. Um, your material, obviously. Me, what do you mean by material? Could you be more specific? Idiot. Clearly exasperated by how stupid I am. Oh my god, material! Me. Material could be literally anything. Are you trying to patch drywall? Sew a dress? What? Idiot. Sewing material, obviously. Me. We're standing in the sewing aisle. Idiot walks away without saying thank you. I just about lost my mind. I had to sit in the break room for like two minutes and contemplate my life. Anyone else have any absolute morons showing up lately? Well, now that you mention it, Guardian Angel Turtle, more and more people are. This was posted by Aurelius92A. This time of year, we're asking for your support for those suffering from a terrible disease. Retail dyslexia. Cue Sarah McLaughlin music. Every year, millions of people are affected by this horrendous and life-shattering illness. Merely by entering a retail establishment, they are struck dumb and lose the ability to form any coherent thoughts. Show a woman standing in front of a sign. It reads, children's shoes. Where are the kids' shoes? People just like Karen here who minutes before were literate members of society, cannot seem to make the connections in their minds between the words in front of them and their meaning. Show a man holding a package of socks. It reads, eight pairs. Excuse me, how many are in a pair? Here we see Larry, who is unable to recall simple information and relies on others to perform the most basic arithmetic. Larry teaches high school calculus for a living, but once passing through the doors of this store, he cannot remember how many feet he has. Music intensifies. With your donations, we can pay for therapy needed for the poor retail workers who must endure the hardships of working with those suffering from retail dyslexia, as well as searching for a cure. Cut to a shot of an impressive medical building. The sign in front reads, The Van Der Sloot Institute. Cut to Dr. Vandersloot sitting behind a desk. Here at the Vandersloot Institute, we study the phenomenon of retail dyslexia and are trying to develop a treatment for those suffering from this affliction. It seems that, upon walking past a pair of automatic doors, the IQ of the patient drops considerably. We're trying to narrow down the root cause. Is it fluorescent lighting? Linoleum floor tiles? Does the presence of shopping carts play a factor? Cut to a mock-up of a retail store. Mannequins stand in place of retail workers and a team of researchers in white lab coats make notes on clipboards as a confused shopper wanders around looking for help. Our teams are hard at work trying to identify what triggers this mental phenomenon, but we need your support. Cue to a man in a chair. His face has been blurred out and his voice filtered to protect his privacy. Outside of a store, I'm a Harvard professor. I teach economics for God's sake, but once I go shopping, it's as if I can't read the signs. Once, <gasps> I had to ask the clerk why there was sales tax on my purchase. I remember being extremely indignant, insisting that I'd never heard of sales tax before. It was only my car heading home. 
that I realised what I'd done. Cut to a tearful celebrity stroking a small animal. The music swells to its peak. This time of year, incidents of retail dyslexia are at their peak. Please call the number at the bottom of the screen and donate now. Help those afflicted with this disease find an end to their suffering and help those that have to handle them as part of their job. Thank you in advance. Fade to black, leaving the phone number for donations on the screen. Down in the comments, original Mango had this story to tell. Many years ago, I worked in a retail store where every item had a card stock sign above the display with a large price followed by the description, then an arrow pointing down to the actual items. Basically, these cost this much. Daily, customers would hold the sign, twist it towards one of us and say, excuse me, how much is this? We would then walk over, point our finger to the price written on the very sign they were holding and say, 97 cents? Not once did anyone get the sarcasm. Not once. The emphasis should be on the mental health of the retail workers, lol. But this is the best thing I've read in a long time. But it is. Solving the tragedy of retail dyslexia will go a very long way towards improving the sanity of your customer service staff. Please spare a thought for the customer facing individual. Donate today. Fade out to an image of an employee in a cage, uh, I mean break room, trembling in fear at the words, can you help me? Before it's too late. I asked a man what drink he wanted today. He said fries. I gave him fries for his combo. He wanted tots. Or the look of confusion as soon as they walk in the door. The, what did I come in here for face? Yeah, I'm guilty of that all the time. No, I don't need a list. I'll remember these three things. Dambu42 had this story to tell. Can we also talk about how people panic and come up with the strangest terms for everyday objects? I had a customer today who asked me where to find cheese sheets. What the ever-loving hell is a cheese sheet? I've worked in the cheese industry for seven years and have never heard of them. She was looking for sliced cheese. Just regular sliced cheese. And to clear any doubts, English was 100% her first language. Have you had a brain fart whilst out shopping? Please share in the comments. Now back to r slash drunk or a kid. So who was the person who asked for marijuana sauce? It was a kid. I was a kid intending to ask my mom for marinara sauce but vocalised a word that sounded similar instead. Did you guess right? No, nope. me either. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed what you've heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.